again Never wanted to What am I to do? I can't help it Love's always been the game Played how I made I was made that way I can't help it Girls cluster to me like moths around the flame And if the wings burn I know I'm not to be Falling in love again Never wanted to What am I to do? I can't help it Philip's always been my game Played how I made I was made that way, I can't help it Girls cluster to me like moths around a flame And if the wind burns I know I'm not to be Falling in love again, never wanted to What am I to do, I can't help it <laughs> well, hi there, pluckers. I have sore fingers again, where there's something rather unusual, <laughs> something slightly different to what we usually do. A classic song. Um, this one is uh, an arrangement from uh, John Prine, okay, and the song's the classic song, Falling in Love, originally obviously made famous by uh, Marlene Dietrich many years ago. Okay, so I'm in standard tuning, and but I do have a capo on the second fret, it puts us into the same key that John Prine uh, <clears throat> recorded the song in, okay. Um, I think he did this as a duet with Alison Kreuz, I think that's, hope that's the right pronunciation. Um, anyway, so um, starting off with this very nice little intro. Um, right, what we're doing there is I'm fretting the second fret from the capo, second fret on the third string and the second string. And this is all on the top three strings, okay? <clears throat> I'm starting off with an arpeggiation down from three down to one. Okay, very simple, yeah. Then we go back to the third string. Then you add your pinky to the third fret on the second string. All right, so it's. Then you play the top string open. Then you add your pinky to the second fret on the top E string. So now you've got this. Then you take your pinky off and play the open top E string. And finally, you put your pinky on the third fret of the second string. And that's the end of the sequence, and you just repeat it four times, okay? So very slowly. Hopefully you'll see exactly what I do. Quickly run through that again. Second fret of the third string and the second string fretted. You arpeggiate down from three down to one. Then you add your pinky. Uh, they go back to the third string. So then you add your pinky to the second string on the third fret. Open the top E string. Pinky goes to the second fret, top E string. Then it open up the top E string again, take pinky off, and finally the third fret of the second string with pinky. So you end up on the second fret of the third, sorry, third fret of the second string with the pinky, okay? Okay, 
So, and then you do that four times and you're into the verse. Very simple verse, three chords, A, D, and E7. That's an E chord with the third finger off, fourth string open, D string open. Okay, and it's just, it's like a waltz, fairly slow waltz, right? Sort of thing, okay. So falling in D love again. So it's A to D, right? Falling in D love again. Back to A. Never wanted to E7. What am I to do? Back to A. I want to it. Okay, got that. So we go through that again very slowly. A falling D love again. Back to A. Never wanted to. E7, what am I to do? Back to A, I can't help it. And then we've got this little fill in. Double plucks, okay? <clears throat> so I'm playing initially, the first one is the, I'm doing the fourth fret of the fourth string. So from the capo, the fourth fret on the fourth string. And the that's on the fourth string, and then you add your, that's, I'm playing that with my second finger. And my first finger is playing the third fret from the capo on the second string. And you pluck those two together. Picks playing the fourth string, fingers plucking the second string. Then you do another double pluck, <coughs> second fret, fourth string, with the second fret on the second string. Like an A7 shape, but you just pluck in the fourth string and the second string. Pick on the fourth string, finger on the second. And finally, open fourth and open second fourth string plucked by the pick and the second string plucked open by the finger so okay got that very simple yeah so from the beginning of the verse we'll do us do we'll do two intros okay we'll just do the intro twice not four times okay just to keep it uh, here we go Second verse exactly the same to play as the first one. Love's always been my game, play it how I may. I was made that way, I can't help it. Okay, stay on the A this time, no fancy licks or anything, just stay on the A, can't help it. Girls cluster to me like mops around a flame. Right, that bit, middle section, bridge section, C sharp seventh. Okay, so you can imagine a C chord, you make the C chord a C7, you add your pinky to the third string on the third fret. So a C sharp seventh is just everything up one fret. Bing. So move everything up one fret and you've got a C sharp seven. You rest your thumb very lightly against the top at uh, the bottom E string okay so that's just very lightly resting on that bottom E string the thumb mutes that string because you don't want to hear that okay and this first finger you'll find should automatically lean down and the back end of this first back part of this first finger will rest on the top E string which is also muted so when you hit when you strum down you're only going to hear the five down to two. You don't want to hear the bottom E string, you don't want to hear the top E string, okay? It's an inside chord, but you by putting your thumb on the bottom E string and killing the top E string with your first finger, you don't hear them, okay? Second chord in this uh, sequence of the middle uh, bridge section is an F sharp minor. Second fret bar if you want to play a bar chord and then the fourth fret of the fifth string and the fourth string. Or you can do a simple version borrowing the first three strings on the second fret from the capo with your first finger. Uh, a very simple version is just to put your third finger on the fourth fret from the capo on the fourth string, four down to one. Or you can put that finger up, third finger up to the fourth fret of the fifth string, the A string, 
and put your pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string then you get a five a five down to one or you can put a bar across and make all six strings up to you okay so c sharp seventh uh, obviously in, on the words it's men because it's sung by a woman usually so this song so I'm, I've said girls okay girls close to me F sharp minor loops around a the flame then we go to a B7 and if their wings burn I know is a B minor 7 so it's a B7 to a B minor 7 B minor bar chord pinky off Okay, second fret bar, minor shape, B minor, then pinky off. So that's the bar, second, first thing is barring the. I'm only doing the first five strings myself. You can do all six if you want. Barring the first five strings, you'll see I'm doing second finger on the third fret from the capo on the second string, and third finger playing the fourth fret of the fourth string. Okay, B minor seven. And that goes to an E7, which you've already done an E7. So C sharp seventh. Girls, close, 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 like moths around a flame. B7. And if their wings burn, I'd be minor seventh. No, oh, I'm not to E7. Plane. Back to the usual. Falling in love again. Never wanted to. What am I to do? I can't help it. Riff. Same as last time. And then we go back into Love's Always Been a Game. Love's Always Been a Game. Played how I made E7. I made it that way. Now at this point I'm doing the middle eight again with the bridge section. Girls cluster to me like moths around the flame. And if the wings burn, I know I'm not to go. Back to the falling in love again. Falling in love again. Never wanted to. E7. What am I meant to do? A. I can't help it. Riff. Back to E7. What am I to do? Stop. I can't. Intro. Help it. Do the intro three times at the end and then play the A chord. Okay? I mean you could play you could play an A major seventh if you wanted to. <laughs> but I think an A is alright. Yeah. Uh, or you, you could play A6, A just put a bar across all four strings, top four strings, five down to one, A uh, A6. Or an A major seven, or an A, <laughs> whichever you fancy. Okay, so there you have it, boys and girls. Uh, uh, my take on John Prine's uh, arrangement for uh, falling in love. There is uh, obviously an instrumental um, section in the song which I haven't done, um, but it's basically just single notes playing the melody. So I'm not going to show you that. It's just uh, the same as the same as. The, Da, 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 da. But just play on the single notes on the guitar, okay? So if you want to do that, I'm sure you can work that out, you know? Okay, so there you have it. So thanks very much for watching and listening, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.